it's time to go camping winter camping that is except you don't really want to be doing that at the moment because there's a lot of snow outside but this is laid back camp that's right an android of nadeshiko kagamihara solo camp version deluxe edition from laid back camp nendroid form and i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna be perfectly honest with you guys i've had this in storage for about a year year and a half nearly two years i don't know i just never got around to opening it but more importantly wow this is sure a big box a very big box in terms of nendroids because look Look how big it is, look how massive it is compared to the other versions. See, look, it's it makes them look, actually it's not that much bigger, it's just slightly bigger. But that gives us a whole host of extra cool little goodies to find inside of here. So, without further ado, let's unbox her from a plastic prison, shall we? Right, let's have a look at this, shall we? So, first things first, I'm a little bit disappointed because this hat does not come off. That's right, this hat is permanently on her head. Which, in my opinion, is a little bit cheeky considering this is a DX one and they couldn't be bothered to even sculpt her a hair piece. Considering that previously, the previous version of this figure did have a removable hat. So, yeah, I don't know, it just feels a little bit nasty to do it. Granted, the hat does look really nice. I don't really like the fact that, obviously, you've got to take the whole hat off. So, the hat looks sculpted as well. Nasty, very nasty. Um, but, apart from that, she's pretty nice. I mean, I'm going to be honest. I feel like I have been a little bit spoiled with the Hololive versions of the nendroids um and it is pretty apparent coming back to these that it's not quite as nice as some of the what hololive ones that they've released but still we will look at them so she comes with a really nice looking pink hair i always like pink or blue hair in figures that always feel like they pop out and look really really nice um not really much on here there's not much but the, the eyes the eyes look always nice i feel like eyes are quite important when it comes to an android you always have to have nice eyes because that is one of the key parts of the figure moving down and there's a nice little blush on the face and the face just looks really really cute as we go down we've got a scarf which can be removed you can remove that and give her a ponytail instead of the scarf and then going down we have a coat which kind of looks a little bit boring if we move around, you do have a backpack that can be removed, and I really do like the, uh, the I just like the backpack, it looks really, really nice. I mean, you're not necessarily going to have it included when you are doing the whole kind of sitting down camping thing, but it's a really nice improvement, and I really like the ha whole idea that you can have her look and that she's on an exploration camping trip. And, of course, she comes with two legs, which cannot be well they can be removed you don't get any alternative legs that you would maybe in a hollow live one but overall it's really nice the back of the pin can either go into her back or it can go into the back of the backpack you do get a very large base for that which seems a little excessive but i suppose the whole idea is she's walking so she probably wouldn't fit on the base for the whole walking motion let's have a look at some of the other alternatives we can do with her shall we
Now, I feel like this is the most defining point of the figure. This comes with a few nice little camping supplies, including an alternative body, I suppose, in which we have Secret Society Blanket. This also comes with a little tray that has a mini campfire on, and a lamp, which is very blurry, very blurry indeed. And yes, let's have a look at it. So this, what happens is you just remove the head. So with this, you just remove the head, it's got its own ball joint on, and you can just put her nice little head on there and it looks all snug and comfy i really like this i'm not gonna lie i actually kind of like this a little bit more than the whole of the actual body itself i don't know there's, there's something about the body just slightly irritates me but i don't know what it is the only thing is is that this has been really badly painted which you can probably see there's a few blurs and there's a few bits where the figure itself is actually peeling at the bottom of the uh, on the back. I mean, yeah, it's on the back, you're never going to see it, but I don't know, it's just a little bit annoying. But honestly, I really like it, and there's something just really nice about all of this little pose. You could also pose her with different faces, and it just looks even more comfier with the eyes closed, at least in my opinion. Which face plays do you like more? The one with the eyes open, or the one with the closed? Let's have a look at some more variations we can do. I really like this pose. I don't know, it just looks so goofy and ridiculous. So, one of the most important parts of Laidback Camp is the food and the amount of food that they eat on here is absolutely absurd. It's not only a camping series, it's also a food series. And here we have her with chopstick arms, well, chopstick hands, and I believe it's like a roast chestnut hand as well. And of course, we have the drooling mouth open face because of course she's getting something really nice to eat And here we have her, well, in her other pose. Now, the reason why this one is a deluxe is that you technically get two versions of the figure. You get two torsos, well, three if you include the, yeah, the, the blanket, and obviously you get a bag pack and you get a lot of the extra camp and stuff. Not gonna lie, I like this one a huge amount more. It's really nice. I mean, you still can't remove the hat, but, I don't know, it just feels a little bit more natural to me. Well, that might just be me. I do really like the very happy face. And as you guys are already aware when it comes to these Nendroids, I really do like happy faces on the characters a lot more than the kind of neutral looking faces. It's a really cute looking figure, to be honest. And honestly, I can't wait to put her on my display with the rest of my collection. But that's just my opinion. What do you guys think of the Nadashiko Nendroid? Now, there are a few other little bits and pieces. For example, you get um, some more words, uh, you know, like text and stuff like that. And there's a little backdrop that you can cut out of the box. I'm not going to bother with any of them. You also get a few other little tiny things. For example, you get a phone again with this one and a few little hand pieces that, to be honest, don't really make much of a difference in the grand scheme of things. Overall, I really like it. It is a big change compared to the Hololive ones and I feel like even though this is a DX one I don't feel like it comes with a huge amount of quality extras compared to the Hololive ones but that might just be me. I really like Laid Back Camp and honestly I'm really happy that I actually own this figure. It's a really nice one and yeah but that's just me. What do you think? Let me know in the comments and if you did like this go check out one of my other videos on this Hololive figure right here. I'll see you over there.